Good morning. It's been almost six months since I've seen this airplane in real life. Finally, I started my duty, and today it's going to be fun because this airplane is right after the 12 year inspection. It was taken apart completely, and we have to do the stall test flight. Um, today, I'm not going to fly, I'm going to fill out the numbers. We have a test pilot from Bombardier, he's going to do that because he's certified for this kind of uh, fun flight. So, I will just uh, fill out the papers and uh, my cameras will film the whole uh, the whole flight so let's start hello for nice so while i was editing this video i realized that i a bit of explanation so the stall as a reduction lift coefficient generated by a foil as the angle of attack increases it means at the high angle of attacks the airflow is separating from the airfoil so fixed wing aircrafts can be stalled in a pitch, bank and airspeed. But normally when we talk about the stall, we talk about the stalls at low speed. And right now, brief description of what we were doing that day and what is difference between um, uh, those stalls that we, that we actually practiced during our training and uh, those stalls that we were doing that day. So during the training, what we are doing, what we, what we are trained, um, we just approach into the stall and once we have the stick shaker, we have to recover from the stall. So we approach into the stall and then we practice to recover. That's the main idea and in different and in different configurations. But what we were doing that day, we were supposed to have the properly trimmed airplane at the exact airspeed. Then uh, test pilot was uh, reducing the airspeed. Then we had to note the airspeed at which you get the stick shaker on the left and on the right side. Then airplane was actually stalled and he had to keep the airplane stalled until he reached the uh, most aft position of the yoke. So he had to, to pull the yoke further aft until he reached the most aft position. And then we had to know that speed, that speed as well. All this is necessary in order to uh, in order to certify the airplane after this 12 year inspection or in generally in general when you do any any works with the leading edges or any other um, boundary lane or judges or any, anything else what they have on the wing so that's what we were doing well of course later on we checked all the systems uh, basically all the systems of the airplane and then we just uh, landed our base and did the same on the second airplane um, so I think it's uh, it's it's uh, easy and brief description. So let's let's get back to that date. Okay, parking brake. Released. Transponder. Yeah, okay, hits. Um. Now we're lined up and waiting still, correct? Yep, the carrier goes to the water, passing 2,000 feet, contact the two wind 260 degrees 8 knots, runway 26, clear for takeoff. After passing 2,000, connect the Persian 1288 from laser 5, clear takeoff 26, zero lap for sure, because they will thank you, bye. Right. I'm ready. Here we go. Take off, sorry. We are armed, we speed both sides. Check. Can do a quick control check. 80 knots. That's good, that's good. Check. V1. Rotate. We got positive. Alright, positive rate, right. gear up. Coming up. What's up? Coming up. Gear indicating up, flaps indicating up. Roger. Probably just put those away for now. Mm -hmm. Sierra Cozulu, continue climb flight level 160, if you wish, direct to Lila. Climb 160 to Lila, Sierra Papa Charlie Cozulu. Okay, 160 set. I see one six zero. And direct to Lila. Yeah, this airplane is actually quite trimmed. It flies okay. So first this flaps up uh gross weight, nineteen five. Yep. 
And frame speed, 155. All right, Shaker, one, two, eight. App stop, one, two, zero. Beautiful patrol, Echo Zulu, we've talked with approach. You can start right after Matthew. We said 477 GW radar contact. So during the stall, what I want you to do is kind of put that clipboard up against your chest mm -hmm. and just fold it up like that, because we're going to be back. And Mm -hmm. Maybe a lot of aileron action. Uh, there is a traffic and no report of turbulence. No, so far is no report uh, at 37. No report at flight level at 370. Roger. Okay, gears up, Bye. flaps up, spoilers Bye. out. One five five, three yeah. We there four seven seven. Climb level three four zero. Climb three four zero. We four seven seven. It's close. Okay, here we go. So one knot per second. We're just gonna slowly raise the nose. And then we're gonna review the changes. Contact uh, Venus radar one three three one three zero five. Goodbye. Thank you. One two three one. One two three three zero five two three three. Thanks, man. Shaker 28. 1.8, Mark 120. 120. 128, 120. It was actually the same numbers. Perfect. Yeah, that was straight too. That was just what we wanted. Okay, let's go flaps eight. Flaps coming eight. Indicating eight. Gear down. Uh, sync off. Gear coming. Actually, I'm going to keep sync off. Uh, okay. I should have briefed that. Okay. We just want the engines to stay the same during okay. the stall. Okay. So. Sync stays on, gear selected down, yep. indicating down three greens. Wizard 477, contact Sweden, radar 128, small 180, you are ready, come right. 128, 180, Wizard 477, thank you, thank you. So we should be trained at 153. 153, thank you. Alright, that's good. All right, here we go. Six, One to six. Mark 119. One to six, 119. Okay, let's go flaps 20. Speed is good, flaps come in 20. Indicating 20.
146. Right roll, 10 degrees. Flaps down. Speed is good, flaps down selected. Flaps down indicating. Is upper left of our cargo eight uh, four four five uh, level three six zero. Look, eight four four five. Jim Dobry, radar contact direct. Look. Look, cargo eight four four five. Uh, direct to Aluka. Look, cargo eight four four five. Direct to That's just at the limit. But that works. Okay, flaps eight. Flaps coming eight. Indicating eight. Here I call Zulu. VFR traffic is right now departing runway 26 and uh, copy other traffic information. One VFR holding north, the second south for the field, not higher than 1,500 feet. Traffic information copied, Sir Papa Charlie Kazula. Sierra Kazula, wind is uh, 270 degrees, 11 knots, runway 26, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 26, Sierra Papa Charlie Kazula. Clear is received. Sierra Papa Sierra, as go is with us, Mosh Chum, Lirjeta, the Xilina, Shimilovi, Prostate, the Passat Vashesh. Modil Vieja, Rapiaweski, Fosso, Zmiany Planu, Spogru, the Bavit, Fosso. Czyli w takim razie, jeżeli nie zaczęli z zachętu, to proszę w lewo, w stronę uniforma. W lewo na uniform, mam biały wski, Foxtrot i potwierdza, że jest stable. Stacz w gołu? Roger. Zaraz, zaraz, zaraz. Zaraz, 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 Sierra Whiskey Fox Trot, informacyjnie nad uniformą ruchami w grupie 1450. Obserwuję. Delta, Delta informacyjnie po odlocie z 26 FFR wykonuje przez punkt uniform na Juliet. Przyjąłem. Delta na Bemba India. Sierra Whiskey Fox Trot, informacyjnie 9 taczent go. 9 taczent go. Kierowski Fox był zidentyfikowany po odlocie 2-6, kieruj się Uniform Juliet. Uniform Juliet, Romeo i Fox. Spoilers. Two unlocked. Uh, one deployed, right unlocked. Left deployed, right deployed. Both deployed. 90 knots. Okay, we're just gonna roll to the end. 
good brakes. Actually, if we're going to take Delta. Delta, Delta November India i możesz włączyć się w pozycję z wiatrem, znaczy na razie utrzymuj z wiatrem do 2.6. Delta November India, wejście w pozycję z wiatrem i utrzymywanie do 2.6. Wspieraj Kozulu i kołuj taksi via Delta Alpha Sierra. Delta Alpha Sierra, Sierra Lapa Charlie, Kozulu, thank you. Delta Echo Charlie November India, prosto 26 touch and go. Delta November India, przez 2 touch and go, prosto 26 via 290 stop i 12 wersów. Można touch and go, 26 Delta Echo Charlie November India. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you. That's great.